Hi guys, Ideal here, ready to talk about the nerfs. Um, they just got announced like, what, uh, 10, 15 minutes ago? Um, let's go right through it. So, Giggling Inventor is now Dr. Boom, kind of, 7 mana. That's like a super big nerf. Um, it's understandable because if they would make it 6 mana, it wouldn't be um, that much of a nerf because the way Quest Rogue utilizes Giggling Inventor at its best is when they're in Valira mode, in Dev Knight Valira, they just go Giggling, Brewmaster the Giggling, and then use the Valira card as Brewmaster to Brewmaster the Brewmaster, and you basically go infinite. And if it would be 6 mana, they could still do that, whereas if it's 7, they cannot really do that. So, also the most powerful way Quest Rogue survives against Agro was Giggling Inventor. Now the deck is gonna be even more polarized, to be honest. I think the way Quest Rogue is going to adapt is playing... Uh, I don't know, the Microtech card, I forgot the entire name of it, but it's like 3 mana 2-1, summon 2-1 two one ones, and it will still be really good, it just will lose more to aggro because you don't have the way to cheese them out with giggling into Sonya shenanigans, but like, I don't feel it's gonna be that bad, maybe we're gonna see Backstab cycling back in to offer you some survivability, and yeah, I'm surprised that there's only two nerfs, um, I don't know how Druid evaded the nerf. I don't know how Spreading Plague evaded the nerf. I hope these two nerfs are enough to like shake things up, but I'm a bit reluctant to um, call it outright. Um, mana Arm to 2 mana is a very big nerf though. Um, I think my original idea was making it a 1 mana 1-2, one, but this nerf is even bigger than that. It completely like destroys the card kind of. It will still be playable, but for example, right now I'm playing a one of Amani. Some people don't play Amani at all. And I'm not sure if the new Mana Arm is better than playing Amani, to be honest, in the two drop slot. So will we play Mana Arm? I don't really know. Will we play Tempo Mage? It still has a lot of good cards and like late game bursts. So maybe even without the impactful one to three, going Arcanologist on two into Kirin Tormage on three is still going to be really, really strong against a lot of things. And, um,. If people don't play Tempo Mage, people will play Quest Row, and then if people play Quest Row, people will still play Tempo Mage, so it's a weird dynamic. I'm just surprised that, like, they didn't nerf Cube, they didn't nerf Spreading Blade, they didn't nerf anything, almost. So, they were very, very cautious with the changes, and I'm not sure how this is going to play out. I think it has a high chance of, like, the metagame staying the same. I'm not talking about Aviana nerf because I'm not playing Wild, by the way, so I'm only gonna cover the Monarm and Giggling discussions. So yeah, Mana Arm is kind of weak right now, and Tempo Mage, I don't know how it's gonna fill the spots, I think it'll have the same problem that it had last expansion, basically a very good deck, but it's very hard to have 30 good cards in the deck, so maybe you're just gonna like play some filler and hope you draw Arcanologist into Kirin, instead of like uh, back in the day when you're playing Life Drinkers and you're hoping you draw Mana Arm into Arcanologist into Kirin. But I don't know, maybe Mana Arm is still better than uh, playing, let's say, Mana Addict or Amani Berserker. But the difference between 1 and 2 is ginormous, especially considering that you already have a very good 2-drop Arcanologist, which is going to be way better than Mana Worm. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm a bit reluctant to Mana Worm. I think it got crushed. I think it's good that it got crushed. But... I just feel like they should have nerfed a bit more, like they should have maybe touched a bit of from Druid, a bit from Hunter, a bit from uh, maybe um, Odd Warrior, maybe a bit from Odro, maybe a bit from something. Um, I guess it's understandable not to nerf Odd Warrior, because they didn't really nerf Quest Rogue that much, they only nerfed the Giggling Inventor part of Quest Rogue. So Quest Rogue is still going to be a control killer, maybe even, I, I wouldn't say more so than before, because Giggling wasn't really bad against controls. But it's still going to be that control killer that we all, that we know. It's just going to lose more to aggro. So we're going to have a more polarized meta? I don't know. It's super hard to predict. I'll try out different quest rogue builds for sure. And if people are playing a lot of quest rogue themselves, I'll try out aggro. If people play a lot of aggro, maybe I'll try out warrior or druid. Maybe people find a way to beat quest rogue with warrior. But I doubt it because I don't think the giggling was like the way quest rogue was winning that matchup. I think it was just like um, playing for fatigue. So yeah, I think Quest Rogue is still gonna be insane against control decks. Doesn't lose anything in that regard, I think. It's gonna be way weaker against aggro. So it's just a more polarized deck because it already was polarized against control and it was considered a broken deck because it was 
also pretty good against aggro. Now he's just insane against control, insanely bad against aggro. That's quest rogue. How is that gonna change the dynamic? Maybe more aggro, but Monarch getting nerfed kind of like puts Tempo Mage in a bad spot. So maybe the aggro that people are gonna play are going to be, I don't know, Token Druid, Odd Rogue, Zoo. And if people play those, then people are gonna play Odd Warrior and Druid and stuff like that. And if people play those, people are gonna play Quest Rogue. So we're gonna have a very similar meta, I think. But I'm happy to see, I think Monarch should have been nerfed a long time ago. Maybe not so harsh, but I'm happy to see it nerfed. I'm happy to see Giggling nerfed. Again, 7 mana is like a very good uh, nerf. I just wish they nerfed some more cards. I wanted to see Spreading Plague, 7 mana. I wanted to see Cube, 7 mana. 8, no, 7 is fine. I wanted to see maybe, I don't know, Katrina. Nerfing Cube would be enough to stop Hunter in its tracks. Maybe Play Dead, 2 mana, I don't know. Play Dead is like a bit too good. Like, after I see people going cube play dead, now whenever I play against the cube lock and they go uh, cube packed, I'm like, <laughs> so wait, you don't keep the cube, you lose it? Like, play dead is insane. And for one mana, it's like broken, I would say. But we thought it would Hunter be really good, maybe because they have Rexar, they would. So what is my concern with this is the long term. How are decks going to be able to beat Odd Warrior once Quest ro rotates out, are they gonna like release some new cards that beat it or are they gonna nerf it uh, later? They could have like done some interesting nerfs and I'm not gonna say it's a missed opportunity, but I don't think this change has changed that, that much from the current meta game, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope we're gonna have a cool meta game. I'm definitely gonna play more. I'm gonna go for a ladder finish because I was a bit uh, slacking recently. But um, this move, these changes are enough to like give me some motivation to play for some other finishes, try to like figure out what uh, is good and what is not. And uh, I don't know. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the pre, uh, the post nerf meta game too. And uh, don't forget to tune into my stream if you want to see me breaking the meta game after the patch releases. Have a great day, and I wish you the best. Bye bye.